We're starting off with Hello Kitty, the classic icon. Starting off with the pencil, I'm sketching out this elongated oval shape, and for the body, it's kind of like this rounded triangle shape at the bottom, adding arms on the side, and then you're gonna go in with your fine liner. At the top right corner, I'm adding this bow, and then the ears, of course. Then you're gonna outline your pencil oval, adding the three whiskers, as well as the nose, and the nose lines up with the bottom of the whiskers, and the eyes, this is like the most important part, the spacing of the eyes, it's kind of in between the whiskers. For the body, you're gonna add this like butt shape at the bottom, and those are the legs of course adding the overalls and that's pretty much it i erased the pencil marks and kind of smudged it a little bit so be careful be more patient than me and then of course coloring it in with the classic red bow blue overalls and the yellow nose and shirt and that's it hello kitty is super easy to draw really cute let me know who i should draw next I got you covered. So here's how to draw Cinnamon Roll, aka one of my favorite Sanrio characters as seen by my nails. So first sketch this oval shape that's almost like a loaf of bread. That's the best way I can describe it. And when you're outlining it, leave some space on the side for the ears, which are these really large floppy bunny ears, almost like half the size of the body. In the middle of the face, add the mouth, which is a sideways three shape, as well as the oval shaped eyes with a blue marker and these blushy cheeks with a pink marker. The arms and legs are like these nubby rounded triangle shapes. And then of course it wouldn't be Cinnamon Roll without the iconic spiral and there you go cinnamon roll is really easy to draw super cute definitely one of my favorites who should i draw all right part three of teaching you how to draw sandra characters so you can fulfill your inner child today we're drawing my melody who is one of my favorites i'm starting out by sketching a wide oval as well as a smaller oval inside about halfway down i'm also sketching the placement of the ears and the body the body is about half the size of the head and the legs are kind of like a wide rectangle attached underneath then i'm adding a flower sometimes i see them add a bow in their ears though so i don't know i'm outlining the shape of the head and the ears as well and for the face the nose starts about halfway through the face and the eyes are lined up to the bottom. They're kind of spread far apart. I'm adding the little handkerchief collar tie as well as the arms and legs. The arms are kind of like circles attached to limbs. And then coloring in the hood with the iconic pink color. So, so cute. I'm also adding some yellow details. And that's it. That's how you draw my melody. Let me know who I should draw next. This is part four of teaching you how to draw Sanrio characters to fulfill your inner child. So today we're drawing Pom Pom Purin. But I actually messed up. You can see the remnants of my old My Melody and I had to patch it over. Pom Pom Purin kind of has like a beanbag or potato shaped body. So I'm sketching that out and also using ovals to sketch out the placement of the ears and the hat. I wanted his arms to be holding a heart, which is why I put the arms on the inside. And when I'm outlining it, I'm kind of like curving out all of the lines to connect them all. The legs are almost like little round nubs. You can make the ears floppy and the eyes are really far apart. The nose lines up like straight in the center of those eyes. The eyes are like super easy, just dots. I'm erasing all of the pencil marks, kind of smudged it a little bit, and then coloring in his little cute beret, and of course, coloring his whole body in yellow. And that's pretty much it for Pom Pom Porn. He was harder than I expected to draw because he looked so simple, but I wanted to get the right level of chunkiness and squishiness. I do think I achieved it. He looks so cute, so who should I draw next? Part 5 of teaching you how to draw Sanrio characters today, we're drawing my favorite Froggo Boy, Carapy. So we're going to start by sketching out circles. I'm splitting the circle in half vertically, and that's the width of your eyes, which are just two circles attached at the top. And then I'm cutting off the circle at the bottom and rounding out the corners to create the head shape. The body is really short, it's almost like this rounded half rectangle shape. And then when I'm outlining it with my fine liner, I'm just making sure to round out all of those corners. And I'm making sure to add his fingers and toes by adding these three rounded spiky points at the ends of his limbs. Now for the eyeball, the pupil they kind of line up with that top circle axis that we sketched out drawing a v for his mouth and then his little bow tie and then when i erase the pencil marks he's coming together we're just going to draw his little blushy cheeks color him in green and then also draw the red stripes on his shirt although sometimes i see him wear a different outfit so i guess it just depends anyway that's how you draw carapy i think he turned out so cute let me know who i should draw next finally the day we do kuromi who is one of my favorites and i know it's a lot of your guys as well so to start you're going to sketch out a circle and then halfway through the circle you're going to draw another circle on the inside which is the little hood triangles for ears and then the body shape which is like a little jelly bean adding the arms which are just circles with ovals attached as well as the spiky collar the eyes are oval shapes cut off at the top to give that mischievous look and the nose lines up with the bottom of the eyes then i'm going in with my fine liner to outline everything and add the final details like the circles at the end of the ears and the collars smoothing out all of the lines for the body as well as adding a tail 
and two little eyelashes at the end of the eyes, of course. Then I went in with my eraser to erase all the pencil marks. And coloring is pretty simple, but just remember to draw the pink skull on the hood before you go in with your black marker to color in the hood and the ears and the collar. I think this was definitely one of the harder Sanrio characters to draw. And there we go. Everyone's favorite angsty, edgy Karomi. Let me know who I should do next.